Guitar Buddies, that was the David Bowie classic, Fashion, which features two of my favourite guitarists, Carlos Alomar and Robert Fripp. Okay, so for the intro, played by Fripp, we've got... Great opening. I'm starting all on the E string this, I'm playing E to D, so that's 12 to 10. And then I'm playing 8, 10, 8, as a, and hammering to 10. So pick it 8, hammer, pick, a pick, so. And then the same 7, 8, 7, hammer to 8. Then keep going down with that 5, 7, 5, so we've got E, D, C, D, E. B, C, B, A, B, A, G, A, G, 3, 5, 3, and end on an F on 1. Okay, and then the beat kicks in and we've got... 
So I'm playing there, G, F, G. So I'm playing on the A and uh, G strings, 10, 10, 10. And then G, F, G, F. Okay, so I'm going 10, 10, and 12 on G, and 8 on A. Then back to G and F on 10 and 10. So we've got... So it starts with 10, 10, 10, G, F, G, then... And then what you do is you do some treble or picking and you slide to D and B flat on 15 and on 18. So you've got... And then you slide that down two frets to C and A flat. So you've got... Yeah, so those two notes and those two notes it's marvellously kind of atonal great and there you go that sequence again G F G F G F 10 10 12 8 10 10 and then again so just rapidly picking up and down and then, slightly different now, just go G, F, F, G, F. 10, 10, 8, 10, 10. And then, on that last one, just go back up, okay, to 15 and 18, to D and B flat. Okay, and that's the intro. On the first, we've got Carlos Alomar playing two clean guitars that are overdubbed. We've got one guitar playing. Just a two note pattern, okay? Just an F on three on the D string and then just going to an E on two. That kind of thing. All right, so just that, and I'm just using my palm resting lightly on the bridge to get that palm muted sound. The second pattern that's overdubbed on top of that is... So I'm playing B to A, 4 to 2 on the G string, it's all on the G string. Then A, C, A. So 2, 5, 2. Then C, on five, then A, B, two, four, so, so we've got, also on the verse we've got some guitar fills from Robert Fripp, we've got just a simple C and F on 13 and 13 on the B and E strings. And then, it's kind of great. I'm playing a G7 sharp nine chord. So it's the classic kind of Hendrix chord. 10, nine, 10, 11, starting on the A string. So on the A string, 10 and nine, 10, 11. Also on the outro verse, you get a few extra licks thrown in like this. I'm bending to an F from an E, so bending 9 to 10 on the G string. And then just sliding from F to G, 8 to 10 on the G string. Okay, so that's the verses. So then we're into the chorus, and I'm playing... Okay, so this pattern is D, C, B flat, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. So I'm playing on the G string, 7, 5, then on the D string, 8, 6, 8, then 5, 7, and then finish on 8. 
first time. Okay, the second time, I go instead of going up for the last note, I go down. Back to five, back to a C. So we've got seven, five, eight, six, eight, five, seven, eight. And then, last time the end note goes down to five instead of up to eight. So you play that twice, so you go. And then you go three times going up. And then last one you go down. Taking us into the first guitar solo. And then we've got a couple more extra guitar bits. So I'll change sounds and we'll go into those. I've tried to replicate the sound on the record by putting on some auto wah and phaser, but I've no idea what studio effects they used, but I'm playing. So over that uh, chorus section, I'm just playing a three note pattern of C on three, to E flat, to F on the D string. So three on the A string to one and three on the D string. Okay, and then we've got a little bit of uh, Robert Frippery. So we've got a couple of fills on the second chorus. The first one I'm playing is. So I'm playing an E and a B flat together. Nine on the G string and 11 on the B string. To a G on eight on the B string. And then I'm playing these double stops of A flat and B to A and C. So that's nine and seven to 10 and eight. And then B and D to C and E flat. So that's 12 and 10 to 13 and 11. Okay, and the next one I'm playing is taking us into the second solo. I'm playing, okay, I'm playing C sharp, E, and uh, A sharp. So I'm playing. Six five six, sliding up to D sharp, F sharp, and C. So sliding up two frets, and then I just go up one fret, back down. So this is all going chromatic now, one fret at a time. So I've got two frets, then just just going up a fret and down a fret. And then take it up to, just keep going up one fret at a time. So, we've, so we're going from 8, 7, 8, to 10, 9, 10, 11, 10, 11, finishing on 12, uh, 12, 11, 12. Taking us in to the second solo. Before we get there, we'll take a look at those bridge sections. For the two bridge sections, the chords are D minor to C, to D minor, to F, C, then F, C, or C. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, D minor, C, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. One, two, then half a bar each for F and C. And over that we've got playing on the D minor pentatonic scale. So listen to me. So D, C, D, F. Back to D. So 10 on D string. So it's 12 to 10 to 12. F on the G string on 10. Back to 12 on D. And a C over that C chord, then just same again, don't play the C. And then it finishes with 
So I'm playing D, C, D, F, D, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, D and G strings. The first time, I think it just goes, just dead, dead. so 10, 12, 10, then bend on 12 to A. And then the second time I think he plays an extra note, it just goes. So it just so it plays a, a G before bending instead of. Very small difference there. And there's also a couple of little octaves in there. Uh, so yeah, it's a C octave. So I'm playing five and eight on the G and E strings. Okay, so next we'll take a look at those two fantastic solos. I've always loved these solos. The first one starts with... I'm starting on an F on the bottom string and sliding that all the way up to a B flat on 18 and then down to a G on 15, all on the E string. Yeah, so one, 18, 15. And then I'll play. Okay, what I'm doing here, you sort of kind of want it to get sounding quite a sort of atonal almost. So I was just dipping with my bow a little bit, going into it, and I'm playing C, D, F, G, B flat, C, going to an E flat. So I'm playing 8, 10, on the bottom three strings, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, sliding to 11 on the D string. And then sliding down and hitting a C on three on the A string. So I've got... So... And then... I'm sliding... B, D, F. So that's... 14, 12, 15 on the A and uh, G, D strings. And then sliding down and just hitting a quick A on five. Okay, crazy solo, love it. So five on the bottom string. And then go, do a couple of slides from D. To B, so 3 to 12 on the B string, and then I'm, and then I'm sliding up one extra, so, to C on 13, so, and then bending that C, and then just trying to pinch a harmonic, and then just bend it further. As I say, it's quite a crazy solo. Okay, so 13 and just sort of try to pinch a note and, and, and push it up even further. But when you play it live, you know, you it's not guarantee you can hit those harmonics. So you'll still get away with just hitting the C. Nobody's gonna notice. Oh, care <laughs> and then next lick I'm playing a C to D flat so I'm playing um, 20 bending to 21 and releasing then to F okay on 18 so 20 Top on the E string, 18 on the B string, down to 15, 
then down to 14, 13. So, sorry. Then a G on 15 on the E string. Then a, then a G on 12 on the uh, G string. So we've got... And I played a double stop. B flat and D on 15 and 15 on the G and B strings. Sliding down to A flat and C on 13. Oh. And then F to F, 13 to 1. So we got great solo. For the second solo, I start with. So I'm playing open G, and then I'm playing C sharp, E, A sharp. So six, five, six. Slide that up two frets. Okay, to eight, seven, eight. D sharp, F sharp, C. Then to C, G, C sharp, one more fret. Then F sharp, A, D sharp. 11, 10, 11. Slide it up one more fret. So we're going G, A sharp, E. 12, 11, 12. So. And then we're going from A, C, F sharp to A sharp, C sharp, G. Okay, so we're going from 14, 13, 14 to 15, 14, 15. Again, a semitone. And then just treble up picking that. And then moving out one more fret to B, D, G sharp. And what it does is, it's the second guitar that plays the next phrase. So it kind of goes like that, down a fret again. But that's where that second phrase is starting. So I just played and went straight into the second phrase. So I'm playing So that one is F, and then D, D fat C, 10, 12, 11. So we've got, so 12, 11, 10, so 10, 12, 11, 10 on the G and D strings. Then, 10 on A, 10 on G, back to 10 on A, G, F, G. So, and then from that G, G flat to F. So again, chromatic. 10, 9, 8. And to a C, okay, on the bottom string on 8. Then once again, chromatic, um, going eight, nine, ten. And then we got a bending to a G, a releasing. So I'm bending on eighteen to, on the B string. And a B flat on the 15th fret of the G string. Then a B flat on the 18th fret of the E string. And a B natural. 
to finish on uh, 16 on the G string. Okay, another great solo. So next we'll take a look at the bass. For the bass in the verses, I'm playing. So I'm playing G to F, then G F, an octave higher. So I'm playing three to one on the E string, and then five to three on the D string. And sometimes it does a little extra sort of ghost note. It's an open D. So open five three. So and sometimes later in the song you just hear a little open one two E F F sharp G. That's another little fill, and then another fill you hear is so C F C E C. So you'll see that a couple of times on the playthrough. So. So I played C, F, C, 3, 3, 3 on A and D. Then an E. And C, 2 to 5. And there's a slight variation before the second guitar solo. I just play it. An extra note, the E, then C, and C. So three, 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 two, and three on A, three to five. So the chorus, fashion, I'm playing B flat to A flat, six to four, fashion, turn to left, fashion. I'm playing that again, B flat to A flat, and then playing coming back up with octaves. So four, six, six, eight. So on the bottom string, six, four, six, four. Then on the E and D strings, four, six, six, eight. Fashion. Again, fashion. And the second time I didn't do, I just did, bum, bum. just on the first time through the chorus. Then just again, da, da. And then sometimes it puts a little opening there, ba dum 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 dum. So very quick, sort of grey note, and then into the solo, which is just the same as the verse. And also in the second chorus, it's fashion, fashion, a little extra little fill. So go six four, then open. Four, five. Da -dum. So we've got passion. Open E, A flat, A, passion. Back, back to what we played before. Into the second solo. Okay, and then we just got the bridge section. So we start with, listen to me, don't listen to me. So I'm, I'm playing open A, C, C sharp, D. So open three, four, listen to me, don't listen to me. And then open A to D to C. So open five, three. Then that again, listen to me, don't talk to me. Then going down to an F by G, F sharp, G. So open, three, four, five, three, two, one on the E string. Okay. And then, da -da. and then, two, three, four, one, two, three. Um, so we've got A, C. So one, two, three. Open A, one, two, three. Then I'm going G, A, C, three, open C, F. So we've got F, and then taking us back into ding, 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 we've got 
Open A, C, C sharp, D, C. Okay, and uh, slight variation the second time. We start, you know, just um, so so it goes into it. So we've got the uh, bill. So I'm not going. I'm going. So that little fill we looked at earlier. Listen to me, don't listen to me. Talk to me, don't talk to me. Listen to me, don't listen to me. Listen to me, don't dance to me. So the second time I go after the F, I've got C. I'm going up a C arpeggio, three. Three, two, five, two, five, C, C, E, G, A, C. So C, six arpeggio, technically. So, C, C, E, G, A, C. And then, yeah, a little strange here. Um, unexpected notes, but if you listen carefully, I think it's this. Well, kind of an F major seven. Go. Go F. F A C E A. Eight. Eight seven ten. Then nine. Fourteen. Back into. Oh, and after that one, it reverses for that. Uh, first part of the, the verse coming out of that se uh, second bridge. So we're now doing it starting with the higher one G, G, F, Beiru. And then going back into for the rest of the song. Okay, so it's a great tune. I love this tune, and there's lots to play about with and enjoy. So uh, enjoy fashion, and thanks for watching, buddies.